Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kelsey, this is Celine. Together we are Celine and me, and welcome to a new video. We make loads of videos about human and dog-based fashion. Her life as a teacup Yorkie and my life as her dog mom. So if you're interested in any of that, please go ahead and hit subscribe and let's jump right into this video. So if you clicked on today's video, you are here for a vlog of Celine's dental prophylaxis, or at least the prep before and after of it. So basically, if you don't know what a dental prophylaxis is, it's basically a in-depth dental cleaning for your dog. And Celine gets one annually. Most people, if they do get them for their dogs regularly, they will be annual, but you don't have to. I certainly recommend them, especially with dogs like Yorkies that are prone to teeth and gum disease, but it's absolutely not required. Um, but Celine does get it and I absolutely benefit from it. She benefits from it and I just really appreciate it. My last Yorkie, we did not do that with and I think he absolutely could have benefited from it. It also keeps uh any like bad breath down which because of Yorkie's proneness to tooth and gum disease that their breath just stinks so I'm trying to prevent that as long as I possibly can I'm sorry if this is shaky um I have to get a new stand for this for my phone but anyways she has to go get checked in at 8 45 it is currently I believe it's 7 30 Actually, it might be a little later than that. I think it's 7.45 right now, so I'm going to eat something. Most dogs are not supposed to eat after like 10 or 11 the night before. This is just recommendations from her vet, but puppies under six months and any dog under 10 pounds can eat up to 6 a.m. Celine ate right before 6. She ate at like 5.50, so... She's uh, nice and full. So basically, I drop her off early. They do all the prep work and then around noonish, they typically do the cleaning and then they keep her until about anywhere between 3.15 and 4.30 and then I can bring her home. So I'm going to be, for you guys, recording all of this because... I just kind of want to give you a little inside look at it. I don't see a ton of videos about people's experiences with this. And I know you guys ask me like all the time about different things that I do with Celine and when she gets sick or anything like that. So I figured I'd record this and share it with you all on our channel. Right, I'm talking about you. I am going to finish getting ready, finish getting her ready, and then we're going to head over to the vet. So I just dropped Miss Celine off. I'm um, actually just finishing up at the grocery store right now because it's up the street. But uh, yeah, I dropped her off. So I'll probably see you guys back later when I go to pick her up. I did get one extra thing when I dropped her off so that they're going to do that while they're going and cleaning her teeth. It is a full mouth dental skin. Basically, they're going to be looking to see if there's anything of concern going on above the gum line and if there's anything we need to watch out for or any preventative care we need to do to prevent anything worse from happening. So, yeah, I will let you know results of that and of her dental cleaning when I hear more later. And I did pick up some coffee. I love the Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino. I know it's basically literally a little bit of coffee, all sugar, but it is so good and I need that right now. If you've never tried it, you should. It is amazing. Hey guys, so it is a few hours later. It is about 12.40, 12.45, and I just heard back from the vet, so everything went well, and she's in recovery. She's got a little bit of dental... I guess bleeding on her gums um, so she's gonna get antibiotics I'll show you guys those later she's also gonna get a few other things I get to pick her up at three o'clock so she'll be coming home with a few different things but I figured I would just kind of update you guys when I heard back from the vet and I just got off the phone with them 
Okay, really quickly while we're on the topic of dog dental care, I wanted to show you a few things that I do at home as part of preventative care and to keep her teeth healthy and clean. First thing is I give her these authority dental treats. They're for extra small dogs up to 12 pounds as the bag states. And she eats the parsley mint flavor. They have other flavors like chicken and bacon or pumpkin or something like that. I like the mint because it keeps her breath nice and fresh. Um, but if your dog doesn't like the taste of mint, I completely understand that. There are other options and there definitely are other dental treat options. This is the only one though that doesn't upset Celine's very sensitive stomach. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is I do actually brush her teeth. I will insert a picture of the toothpaste. I don't have it on me right this very second. And it's by Tropiclean. I typically use the non-brushing option. I still use the toothbrush and we'll get to that in a second. I still do use the toothpaste with an actual toothbrush and brush her teeth. But I like to have the non-brushing. That way, if I do miss any teeth or miss any key spots in her mouth that I can't reach or she's not being cooperative, the toothpaste will at least assist and help cleaning those areas for me. And then this is the toothbrush that I use. It is linked in Celine's Amazon storefront. I will link that in the description for you all. And it's super teeny tiny. I mean, I have relatively normal sized hands and very skinny fingers and you can see how teeny tiny this toothbrush is against my thumb and I absolutely love it again sometimes she just wants to lick the toothbrush so I don't always get to reach all the way in the back of her mouth but most of the time I'm able to get back there and brush but I just thought I'd include some preventative tips for you guys if I get any recommendations for toothpaste from the vet. I'm going to include them later in the video for you guys, but I wanted to just kind of get this out there while we were talking about dogs, dental health, and we are getting closer and closer to Celine's pickup time. Okay, so I look a little crazy, but Celine is back there. She just finished, and I don't know if you can hear her over the air conditioning, but she is crying. She usually is like pretty messed up like this afterwards um, just because of the anesthesia, but I just wanted to show you we picked her up and she will be going right in her bed to take a little nap and lots of cuddles. Um, but yeah, just an update. She did fine and I will go over everything that they told me when we get home. So I would be holding her. She was in the middle of going to the bathroom, but she's very out of it. I'm trying to let her finish going before I pick her back up, but I don't think she's going to do it. But yeah, she's very, very groggy and she's probably in pain. They did say she'd be in a little bit of pain and that, um, I just picked her up. It's a little after three, it's like 320, but they said she could eat around six and, um, I'll go over all of the other stuff we got. Probably before then because some of it involves her food. Uh -oh. She's still very out of it. It's about 6.45. And as you can see, she's still very much out of it. She looks a lot better than she did when we first got him. But she's got, um, I think because the tube was on her throat, she's like, got this like kind of hacking going on earlier when you saw that she had she was trying to use the bathroom she had um very runny stool it was a little bit of it but it was very runny like slimy um if it if that's gross for you sorry just click through this this is all natural dog parent life right now um but it was like it was all over her backside so I had to clean her up and yeah we're gonna try to give her some food um there's something that I can put on her food but I'm not gonna put it on uh just yet but I just wanted to give you guys an update and we'll see if she eats 
Okay, so while Celine is trying to eat, I wanted to show you what we got from the vet. So they always make cute little designs out of her name and just write things really cute on the bag. It's always adorable. I love her vet's office and all of her texts. And so there was some paperwork in there. I just took it out because it has like personal information in there. Um, but basically it's just showing, you know, what to expect. They sent lab results. Um, I'll try to do a screen recording and post those for you if you guys really want to see that. And then we also got x-rays. So I remember last time they mentioned one of her baby teeth was still in her mouth. They removed like seven baby teeth on her first dental cleaning. Uh, and this one is still there. Um, it's not bothering her. So they're going to leave it until it does. Sorry, I figured I'd flip you guys around for this. Um, I really am actually glad I purchased the uh, full mouth dental scan, the x-rays, because they did actually find a couple of teeth that above the gum line, they were starting to see some uh, receding and the possible start of infection where they might have to remove two of the teeth. Again, I'm not surprised because Yorkies are notorious for having bad teeth. Um, but I'm really glad that I did go ahead and pay for the extra to do that because of the simple fact that I'm aware of it now and we can at least watch it. And then at least I know if next time they have to remove the teeth, then we know it's just genetic and there's nothing really we can do. Um, they did send her home with some medication. So I think this is her usual uh, clindamide. It's basically clindamycin. I'm gonna see if I can do this and cover up personal information. Okay, so here it is. This is the medication that she has. It is basically clindamycin. And this is to fight off any infection because again, it's like a full in-depth, like invasive dental cleaning. So obviously there was some bleeding. And again, that, that's normal when they do those um, deep cleanings. To prevent any infection, they did give the clindamycin. They did not give any like soft food because it's it wasn't necessary this go around. But because I guess the teeth brushing is not, I wouldn't say it's not working, but because they saw the concerns that they had on the x-rays, they did want to provide some type of supplement for her teeth just to keep them clean and prevent any further infection so that we don't have to take those teeth out. So they gave me the option of either doing the flakes on top of her food or doing a water additive. I chose the flake. All right, so this is called Cleansedent Pro Dem Plaque Off. It is for dogs and cats. It'll tell you exactly how much you need to give them daily. I just wanted to show you what we got from the vet. So I will potentially see you guys either later on tonight, give you an update, or in the morning. So, Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, and Miss Celine here is up and bright-eyed. She's actually waiting for her food right now. Um, I just have to refill her water bowl and give her some food, but she's looking a lot better. Unfortunately, she was coughing all night, so <laughs> we were dealing with that. Um, when she did finally settle down, she would go to sleep, but it wouldn't be for more than like 20, 30 minutes, and she'd wake up and start coughing again. Uh, so that's what we've kind of been dealing with, but you can see she looks way better this morning after some sleep and just time in general so um i will probably either find her some raw honey because i can't find any online and then the stores say they're out of stock um to mix that with a little bit of water to kind of help her throat but if not i'll probably just call the vet and see if they can give me some anti-inflammatories uh but yeah are you hungry are you hungry <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm pretty sure we talked to you this morning. She coughed a good amount in the morning. She hasn't been coughing too, too much throughout the day. I mean, she's been 
often consistently, but not nearly as bad as last night and this morning. I don't know if that's mainly because she's been laying down all day, but I kind of had her resting just so that she wouldn't like strain her throat trying to play. Like I said, for the most part, she's pretty much back to normal. But right now she's kind of just getting a bath. The water is not, she's, trust me, she's not that dirty. It's just I put a bunch of soap in there for her to sit down. Clearly she's not sitting down. Um, <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts. I don't want to freak her out too much, but she literally reeks of medicine and like her hair was just all knotted up. So I wanted to just get her clean and get her feeling a little back to normal because she's one of those dogs that does not like to be dirty. She doesn't like to have things on her as far as like any type of mess or anything like medicine or anything like sticking to her she doesn't like it so I'm trying to wash it off of her and make her feel a little better and smell a little better so <laughs> hey guys all right I don't know where I left off in this vlog I'm pretty sure the last time I filmed it was last night when Celine was getting her bath um but if I filmed after that sorry I'm gonna say welcome to a new day again um, Celine did pretty good today. She's still like coughing on and off, but not nearly as bad as yesterday. So I'm going to show you guys the items I got for her, for her like at home dental care, because they did come in at almost like 10 o'clock last night. I just ordered it from Amazon, got it same day delivered. Uh, but we're going to start tonight on the flakes and then tomorrow we'll probably start on her actual like tooth brushing and then her new dental sticks so yeah otherwise she's doing pretty good she's got her energy back she's still eating and drinking like normal so i'm very very happy for that i did call the vet well they called me to check in on her and then i let them know about her coughing and here she is running around running around i had to go out for a bit so She's super excited that someone's back to play and she just ate. She's been eating like a hog, but it's fine. I never get upset when she overeats. Celine, I a good baby. I was going to recommend these to you guys. I don't know about these. I'm not saying that these are bad, but I will say that I gave her one. She ate most of it, not all of it, but most of it, and she was throwing up profusely afterwards. So we're going to have to do something about these, maybe send them back or hand them off to someone. I don't know, but um, she can't have these. So I have to get her some more of these. The toothpaste seems to be all right. I'll let you know if that changes, but I can tell you that if you do have a dog with a sensitive stomach, um, either gradually introduce these or don't introduce them at all. Um, or if you do introduce them, just be very careful. Just kind of have it in your mind that they might get sick. So yeah, outside of that, Celine's laying down right now, but she's actually been pretty good. Like I said, she's playing and eating and everything is normal, but she is kind of vomiting. Um, so we're trying to get her back on track with that. The good thing is that her food is medicated, so... I usually, if it's mild, it'll kind of work itself out. So we'll see. I just wanted to give you an update. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be, but I hope it's really good content for you all. <laughs> um, I've never done like a, a vlog like in this style or just like an informational video kind of as I go. So if you like these, let me know. Um... If there's something that maybe I could change that would be a little more helpful, let me know. Um, but yeah, so just an update.